Good morning, my name is Louis Romero and this is my introductory speech. We can all recall the great boxing Rocky movies and Rocky Balboa saying, it ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you get hit and keep moving forward. Throughout life, everyone will be faced with struggles and hardships. They must overcome these hardships in order to be successful. Some may choose to let these troubles stop them and others choose to realize that life waits for no one. I personally have dealt with different struggles growing up that most people do not have to deal with until they're completely matured into adulthood. As most boys grow up, they build memories with their fathers like tossing a ball in the front yard or watching baseball games on the television. However, I grew up with very little connection to my dad. My parents were divorced shortly after I was born and soon my mother and sisters became my two main family. Being the only male in the house, it became hard to do things that a 10 year old boy would not normally do. This includes chores such as mowing the lawn and trying to fix things around the house. Trying to fix things around the house. I was the only male in the house and at many, many points in the process I was nowhere near ready to take on that responsibility. As I started to mature, I got a little better at taking on this role. I began getting used to the fact that I may have to be a little bit more established than others at my age. My family helped out a lot, but my mother helped me the most. No matter what the situation, she was there pushing me to be the best I could be. Whether it was in school or sports, she was always my biggest cheerleader. She was persistent in lifting my spirits and helping me to achieve my goals. And as most boys may grow up to admire their father, I grew very much in admiration of my mother. However, at the time, my life took another huge turn when she was diagnosed with cancer. I didn't completely understand the idea of cancer at the time, or how it affects the body. But from what I could see, my mom was okay. She was able to do everything she was capable of doing before. But as time went by, I could slowly see her become weaker and less active. And rather than coming to all my events, she was forced to stay home in bed and wait for me to come home and tell her how I did. I could see how badly she wished she could be there with me. As she got sicker, she tried her best not to let it show she still had a smile on her face for my sisters and me and her personality lit up the room whether she was in the hospital or home in bed she was able to put the idea of being sick aside and still motivate me and determine to be determined and do the best at whatever I did on August 27th 2011 my mom's journey through cancer came to an end I was only 17 years old Many would assume this would stop me from achieving my goals or keep me from moving forward, but my mother taught me to never quit and never give up hope. She taught me more about life than I could ever ask for. She was there with me through everything, and I know she's still with me today. I keep in mind how proud my mother would be, and this whole experience makes me realize that life is short and we're put to grow on this, we're put to grow on this earth f from the struggles and trials that we, we perceive through. She told me to be all I could be and achieve what I want to achieve because life waits for no one. And remember, it ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. Thank you.